this video, I'm going to go over what's the difference between a bell-shaped cup and a V-shaped cup. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great week. So you're looking for a menstrual cup and you don't know whether to go for the pretty pink bell-shaped cup or the V-shaped cup in your favorite aqua color. Hopefully I can help you find the cup that's going to actually work for your body better. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to locate and measure your cervix. By finding your cervix and measuring it, it'll help you know which cup might actually fit your body better. If you don't know how to find and measure your cervix, I'm going to go ahead and leave a video here and also at the end of this video so you can watch it later if you want to. A bell-shaped cup like the Lena cup is great for somebody that has a low to low medium cervix. Bell-shaped cups tend to ride up and sit around your cervix. With the bell-shaped cup, your cervix can sit inside of the cup without compromising all of the capacity because the body or the bowl of the cup is rounded. Also, because the bell-shaped cups sit up around your cervix more and the bottom of the cup is rounded, it will hopefully not sit outside of your body like the V-shaped cups might. There are several different variations with the designs and firmnesses within the bell-shaped cups. Two of the firmest bell-shaped cups on the market are the Lena Cup and the Amy Cup. The Amy Cup is just a little bit shorter than the Lena Cup, and both of these cups have a flared rim. If you like the flared rim on the bell-shaped cups, but don't want it to be so firm, you can look into the Flare Cup, the Schoon Cup, or the Sabelle Cup. If you need a bell-shaped cup, but you don't like the flared rim on it, you can look into the Ruby Cup, the Super Jenny Cup, or the lolly cup. All of these cups have a regular rim. If you need just a little bit more length, you can look into the lady cup, the bella cup, or the juju cup. All of these cups are bell-shaped but taper to a point near the stem, giving you a little bit more length. If you have a medium to medium high cervix, you might rather go for the V-shaped cups like my Eva cup. A V-shaped cup has more length to it. When your cervix is up high, it's easier to reach. And hopefully you're not searching for your cup when you need to remove it to empty it. V-shaped cups come in a variety of designs and firmnesses. Some of the popular brand names besides my Eva cup are the Yuyuki cup. Uh, this comes in two different firmnesses, a soft and a classic. The soft is actually more firm than a lot of the firm cups out there. And their classic cup is also dubbed as the rock because it is one of the firmest cups out on the market. This is the Lunette Cup. It is also considered one of the more firm cups. And this is the Diva Cup, which for me is more of a medium firmness, but I do see a lot of people saying that this is a firm cup for them. If you need something a little bit softer, you might go for the Silky Cup, the Cup Lee, or the Green Cup of Maine. The second set of cups, which included the Silky Cup, are a little bit more V-shaped than the first set, which included the Yuyuki Cup. If you have a very, very high cervix, you might want to look into the Lily Cup Originals. Both the small and the large Lily Cup Original are the same size. The only thing that's different between the two are the diameters. Here is the small Lily Cup original compared to the large Eva Cup. Well, that covers the V-shaped cups, the bell-shaped cups, what's in between and what's beyond, and hopefully that'll help you determine which 
of those categories you need to pick from. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. If you picked a V-shaped cup that was too long for you or a bell-shaped cup which rode up too high and was hard to remove for you, please let me know your experience down in the comments below as well. Until I see you next time, take care.